Hey there guys, this is TC Made with TC Gaming. Tonight's video is a continuation in one of the uh, series that I've been working on trying to explain how to remap assets for Mixamo and Sinti characters, and Polygon assets, and all those types of things. But tonight I'm going to focus real quick on the mannequin. So if you haven't already purchased any of the Sinti assets and you wanted to be able to get animations from Mixamo into your game, the uh, way that I found works best for this is actually uh, I did a search for it on Google and I found this article that was on uh, one of the forums for Unreal Engine and uh, it's just called Retargeting Mixamo in Place Animation Epic Skeleton and it talks about how Mixamo had removed the option for UE4 download and this person had an epic skeleton without root and then they upload that into the system so what I've done is I've uh, I've gotten a copy of that I have this in my Google Drive, and it's in a folder um, under Unreal Training Downloads for animation. I'm going to provide the link to this. Uh, here's some other resources in here I'm going to be loading up as we go. These are actually for um, naming all the Mixamo bones and stuff. If you've downloaded a character from Mixamo, I'll be covering that in a different video. But for this one, I'm going to be using this uh, UE Mixamo Mannequin FBX file. And uh, I have a copy of it on my drive, but I've actually uh, named it something else. So basically, that's what we're going to do. If we go into Mixamo and we log in, one of the things we want to do is upload a character. We would go into Select Character File. I have a copy of that uh, thing we just talked about a second ago in my downloads directory on my machine. Here it's called Mixamo UE Mannequin, but uh, on my drive I just renamed it as what you saw there earlier. But basically when we um, upload this to the system, it'll take a minute to process it and it'll bring in the character. And once that's in there, it processes through it and it does an auto rig for it. And we'll just let that go for a second. And it should show you your character. And it'll look just like your other mannequin for all intents and purposes. But uh, the big difference with this one is that there's no root bone in it. The animations that are on Mixamo do not have a root bone and so when you go to download those if you download them without a character and try and assign them to your Mixamo skeleton you're going to run into some issues um, and there are ways to work around that from what I understand taking it into a, a third-party art program to uh, remove the bones and all that kind of stuff but you can also just go to my drive and download this UEMX Mannequin FBX file or go on Google and search for this person's epic skeleton without root. Load that up into Mixamo and then all you're going to do is go in here and find whatever animations you want and I showed you guys uh, in a previous video if you just type in pack here you're going to find all the different packs that are available. So let's say I did like breakdance pack for example. Um, give it a second it's going to load breakdance pack on your Mixamo UE Mannequin and there you see right tearing it up and you can scroll through and see that all these different animations work on that character and you would just go to download T pose FBX files and give it a second here and the way that these downloads is going to be called breakdance pack so it should uh, should fire up here in a second the machines running a little slow tonight for some reason I apologize but in the anticipation of where it's going to end up, it should be down here in my uh, downloads, I think. Downloads, and here we go. So here's my breakdance pack, and if I say extract, I already had a copy of this in here, you see. So I go down here, I got my breakdance pack, and you'll see that I have a... Mixamo UE Mannequin folder in there. This is the one I downloaded the other night. It's basically the same thing though. And if I go into my project, basically what I would do is I would go in here and create some new folders. So for this one, I'm going to just call this uh, Mixamo Mannequin. And then I'm going to go into that folder and say animations. What I can do is take at the Mixico, Mixamo Mannequin section, I go down here and get that breakdance pack. I would grab this skeleton and bring it in. 
And when it, when I bring it in, I'm just going to basically def, uh, select these defaults and just make sure convert scene unit is on. Hit import all. It's going to bring this guy in. Again, I apologize for how slow this is running. And it creates some assets for it. And now I'm going to double click into the animations folder. I'm going to go back to my download and I would grab whatever features from that pack I wanted. If I wanted them all, I would bring them in. But for example, I'll just go and grab uh, footwork one, two, and three. And I would drag these over into there. And now the difference is when I go to bring in the animation, I have to select the skeleton that I want to import it onto. So on here, if you hover over these, it'll tell you where the where the paths are for those. So you can see here there's the Polygon Adventure one, here's one for Mannequin, here's one for Polygon, Polygon, and this one's called Mixamo underscore Mannequin. That's the one that I want. So I would grab that particular skeleton, which is this one, and say Convert Scene Unit is on, Import All. And what you should find here is that it's going to bring those in and put them on that Mixamo Mannequin. Again, this is taking a little while and I apologize. In the meantime, let me go back here while it's loading. Um, once you have these and you go into these packs, you can basically grab, you know, grab one, download. Grab the next one, let it load up, hit download. Grab the next one, let it load up and hit download. And what it's going to do is just give you a copy of your character over and over and over again in each of those packs. But while these are free, I mean, look at all the different things you get in here in the pack. Right, tons and tons and tons of animation. Maybe not tons, but you get what I'm saying. And if you go in here and you type in, you know, that you're interested in maybe combat type stuff, you can go in and get singletons, single uh, things here. So if you just need an, an animation where your guy's jumping over something to get into combat, you can grab a hold of this one thing and download it, and uh, it'll bring in the individual FBX file that'll be mapped for that skeleton. And I highly recommend if you followed my video from the other night and you have a Sinti character get as many animations for that Sinti character as you can then do the same thing for your uh, skeleton here we're not allowed to redistribute the files themselves they can be built into a compiled game and you can sell whatever the game is with those animations on them you just can't redistribute the source files um, but you can go and get them for yourself pretty easily so I would imagine that that's uh, done importing over here by now so let me go back into my game and sure enough, I have those. I'm going to say save all, save selected. And what's this here? Ba, 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 ba. Uh, that's actually from uh, me deleting something earlier. Disregard that. I'm going to go into my breakdance thing here. And there you go. You see, I have a uh, mannequin breakdancing with footwork one. Here's his footwork two, footwork three. Okay. All happening on a mannequin. And then if I go out here, what we could do is I could take this original mannequin, and here's his animations, right? So this is the original guy, and you'll see he's a little bit brighter, glossier white than the other mannequin is. See that? So I can just go into Mixamo Mannequin Animations. I can right-click this and say Retarget Anim Assets. And what I'm going to have to do is, on these two characters, I just got to make sure that they have preview meshes on them. So I would start with Mixamo Mannequin, the one I just downloaded. I'm going to go to his skeleton. I'm going to go in here and make sure that he has a humanoid rig turned on. And you'll see that when I do that, it auto maps all the different bones with the exception of the root. We just leave that alone for this one. And you just want to make sure you have a preview mesh, which is under your preview scene. You can also pick it from here. Grab your mesh and just say apply to asset. You can't see that. Let me stretch it out there. Apply to asset. And this guy has a, an A pose. We go over here to this mannequin. Go into that character mesh. Grab that one. He also has his A pose. No big deal. We go in here to our rig. Make sure he's got his uh, humanoid rig, which he does. And then you got your root and pelvis and all that kind of stuff, right? So these two characters now have meshes which match, match each other. And let me just make sure. Yeah, so this guy had a pose on from earlier. That's why he wasn't showing up. So you can check and make sure your guy, <clears throat> this was from a previous video, I put it in T-Pose. So I'm just going to go to Modify Pose and say Reset. 
And when I reset that, he goes back into his A pose. Save him. And now, when I go back down here to my new mannequin for Mixamo, and the animations that I downloaded for that, I should be able to right-click, retarget animation assets, and now I see the character that I have, and all the different skeletons that I can retarget it onto. And I'm just going to pick my mannequin from the game. The mannequin folder, not the one that's under the Polygon Adventure Pack. Um, even though that would be compatible, I don't want to go that way. I want to just do it under the root skeleton here, and then I could go from uh, from there with the other ones. And like I normally do, these are uh, Mixamo animations. I put a MX on them, and I would change the location to be the mannequin animation folder. Hit OK, and then retarget. And you can do those as a one at a time. See, so it brings it over. All right, save all. Or I could go and grab multiple animations by holding down the control key and selecting them. Right click, retarget animation assets, go to my mannequin folder, MX underscore prefix, change the location, mannequin animations, OK, retarget. And when it gets done running there, save all, save selected. And again, now I have these additional animations to run. Actually, sorry, I want to go up here to show you that those are in there. Save all those. And then I would have my little MX prefixed ones. So I got all my original animations, and I also have my, my breakdancing animations on that light white skeleton I was showing you earlier. And you got footwork one, two, and three all in there. And we'll go into some other stuff later on showing how to use these animations. But the general idea is someone was asking how do I get additional animations onto my... Uh, Unreal Engine skeleton from Mixamo and the answer that I found again that works best is that you need a skeleton that does not have a root in it and I'd like to thank whoever this person is uh, Kelfire for, for actually adding you know that out there to the community so it was easy to find and I just stuck it on my own folder so it's easy for me to find so I will take a copy of this uh, Google Drive link for you guys and I'm just going to give you access right to here these are going to be animation files and eventually I'll have other things in here as we go so I'm going to put that out there um, some of this stuff just explains to you what the bone mapping is and again, this asset is if you don't have bone mapping identified and you want to pull it in, you could actually load this in your game. And I'll show that in a future video. But again, I'm going to give you access to this. And hopefully you guys found this to be useful. Again, I'm not a professional educator. I do not work for Unreal Engine. I'm not affiliated with Cinti, even though this video wasn't really about Cinti. I'm not affiliated with Mixamo. And I will copy this out there and put it on the uh, drive for you guys. And hopefully, again, you found this to be a useful tutorial. Like, follow, and subscribe for future videos. Again, my name is TC Made with TC Gaming. Have a great night, and thanks for watching.